The 12th of May is one of the most important days in our healthcare calendar. It is on this day that we sit down and reflect. It is on this day that we sit down and celebrate the contribution that our nurses are making on a daily basis to our communities, to our society. It is on this day that we ask each and every one of us to sit down and ask ourselves, have we ever thanked a nurse enough? It is on this day that as a province, we want to say to the nation, we are proud of our nurses. Today is International Nurses Day. I'm proud to be a nurse. And I'm excited about the nursing profession. I'm Mrs. Duba. I had this calling, the, 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 the need to become a nurse at an early age. I learned a lot about Florence Nightingale, and that's when I felt that that's what I wanted to be. So I'm proud to be a nurse. This is a noble profession. This is a calling. We came here to serve the public. So right now we are ready to can serve our patients. We are ready to can manage whatever that comes our way. This day comes today when we are fighting with a global pandemic. As we celebrate the International Nurses Day, we want to remember all our nurses, all those that we have lost during the fight of this pandemic. We want to lower our banner in honor of them because these are the nurses who sacrifice and put their lives at risk at the, in order for them to save lives. That is why in the practical sense, we will always refer to our nurses as our life savers. Today, as a Department of Health, we want to celebrate our nurses and say to the nation, our words will never be enough to can say thank you. Today, as Limpopo Department of Health, we sit down and reflect on thousands of our people who are living a longer and a healthier life because their viral load is being suppressed. These are the people who have been infected with the deadly HIV and AIDS. But today is no longer a death sentence because we have got nurses out there who are initiating ARVs. Have we ever thank you? Have we ever sat down and asked ourselves that without those nurses, our life expectancy will still be very low? Today we sit down as a department and celebrate the improvement in terms of maternal health care. We have reduced the maternal mortality and the under five mortality. Have we ever thanked our nurses enough? Today as a department, we see multiple drug resistant TB no longer a monster because TB is treated at the community level. Who is initiating those anti-TB treatment? Are they not the very same nurses that we are talking about today? That is why as a department we want to pride ourselves with the nurses that we have. In the middle of this pandemic, in the middle of COVID-19, our nurses are our hope because these are the people who stays with you in that ICU for 24 hours, monitoring your vitals, supporting the doctors. Without the nurses, we will not win this pandemic. That is why we can say with confidence, that's why we can say without fear of contradiction, that the nurses are the backbone, they are the engine of our healthcare system. I'm calling upon all the people of Limpo to join me as I say, thank you, Rodi Wuwa, Akenza, Inkomu, Bayadanki, Realebuwa, Mushati.